Cheers erupt as families are about to be reunited for the first time in months. These political prisoners scan the crowd, looking for their loved ones outside this prison in Yangon, Myanmar. When they finally find them, tears of joy. Thousands of reunions like this are expected to take place in the coming days after Myanmar's coup leaders issued an amnesty for some 5,600 political prisoners. Most were arrested in February as the military deposed the elected government. Others were detained months later during anti-coup protests. My sister was arrested after someone reported her for publishing books. They ordered 50 books from her and arrested her with police vehicles and military trucks. I hope that she gets released soon. She has two kids at home. I want her home as soon as possible. The timing of this amnesty comes a week before the regional bloc ASEAN is due to meet. In an unprecedented move, ASEAN leaders have excluded Myanmar's military leader, Min Aung Klang, from attending that summit. It's the most severe sanction the bloc has ever handed to a member state in five decades. This is a big deal. Uh, telling one, the leaders of one of the ASEAN member states that it cannot attend the summit, uh, in which it would have used the footage of to try and demonstrate uh, its international legitimacy to people in Myanmar to try and use that to suggest that they should stop resisting because uh, the coup d'etat in February was a fait accompli. Uh, that is a pretty big deal, and it was uh, something that uh, took ASEAN a long time to get to. Myanmar authorities released more than 2,000 anti-coup protesters from prisons across the country in June, including journalists critical of the military government. The latest and larger amnesty comes while there's increasing pressure on the military leaders to engage with their opponents, nearly nine months after seizing power. Steps like this that have been taken by ASEAN this week, they increase the likelihood of a split within the military because, again, they do care about the appearance of international legitimacy. The former head of government, Aung San Suu Kyi, who was also arrested in February, is not expected to be released. Many of those already set free say they were made to sign an agreement saying they won't engage in political activities in the future, a trade-off many were willing to take to see their families again. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.